Hey everybody, it's BC here, and welcome to another episode of Evo Space. Uh, I am currently working on this. I gotta take these out here for a second. Uh, I have done a few things around here. Actually, I've done a lot around here. I've been trying to get this thing working a little bit better. I've got them, I had to raise them up. It was actually taking some of the blocks out, which I actually forgot to replace. So I gotta do three, four, five, six. I think about 10 or so. So I'm going to get those crafting while we continue on here. Uh, I need dirt. I need organics, which don't have much. Let's see how many I can make. I can make four. That's it. Uh, better than nothing. Uh, that's going to be eventually our fuel source. It is working, uh, but I'm looking at what we can do with this. Uh, we can, If we... Run into the coke oven, we get the coke dust, which we actually need to be making faster steel in the alloy smelter. We just do that, and then we run that through the arc furnace, and that gets us our steel in about 30 seconds. So it's and it's cheaper, it's it's slightly faster. At the same time, too, uh, if I go back to here, uh, oh, that's iron dust. Hang on, creosote. Uh, I can actually use the creosote in a fluid furnace to generate heat. Uh, it'll generate, uh, what is it? Oh yeah, 10 heat in 20 seconds uh, for one for one creosote. Now, you can get 2.2 2 creosote out of one cold dust, which is what we're making right here, and get the coke dust afterwards so we can run that through the alloy smelter to get uh, the steel. So, This should be enough to actually keep this farm going self-sustained. I want to try to get this actually set up and going today, uh, if I can. Power is becoming a problem because these, keeping these things actually running is... There you go. I'm burning up all my fuel here. Uh, so we got to do that at the same time, too. I want to get better uh, electricity generation. So I want to get into... Uh, uh, yeah, the, st the steam turbines. Now, I can't have enough plates to actually make two. The steel's been sort of working. So I'm going to take those out. I'm going to make two of those. Uh, what am I missing? Mm, copper plates. Copper has been rolling along really good. And so we can do that. We'll make two of those. Now, these will actually generate the same amount of, the same amount of kinetic energy in one second instead of 10 seconds with these things. And that's the biggest drawback with these ones. So we're gonna take these out. Uh, okay. And we'll just disconnect this for now. And we'll not save the fuel while we can. All right, there is, that's a steam engine. Take one of these. Uh, this is a little bit bigger. Looks like that's where it has to go. Now, where is the intake? I think it's up top here. Uh, see if we can lie on the shelf. Okay, it's up there. So now, if I grab pipes, probably make a few more if I have, if I can. I'm gonna make nine for now. Another five. And one, two. I'm out of pipes. I'm like, where, where is it? Where is it? And because the way, the size of the the actual generator, uh, it actually matches the size of this thing. So it's actually generating more power than the other one did before. In theory, that's how it's going to work. We might have to get, like I said, another boiler going or two. Uh, and just enough room for everything. Unfortunately, I can only have enough to make two of them. So we're just going to go with that and hopefully not lose all my blocks. Yeah. Uh, power has been an issue. I'm practically out of all that coal again. Surprise, surprise. So that's why I'm trying to get this going, because if we get the alloy smelter going, we're going to need power for that. That's going to be our biggest thing. Uh, let's see here. Where are you going to fit? 
Come on. There you go. Alright, now we just get some pipes up. Uh, oh, yeah. The power line in the way. There, there, and then down like so. Now I can branch off of here and get more pipes crafting. <coughs> Apparently, uh, do another 10. We're going to need them. It's nice when it's quiet like this, but you can tell I'm already out of power again. So that's why I'm trying to do this. Now if I wanted to, I could actually burn the creosote and that'll actually get me... Not the creosote, the, the coal coke. That'll get me better uh, better heat output in the same amount of time. Practically double. So this is actually part of our quest, getting that. And... I have to take that out for the quests. Uh, yeah, so we got to go ahead and make the steel alloy smelter and a cast iron ingot. Uh, cast iron ingot actually made it come there, and then that has to be run to the alloy smelter, which we already have. So, uh, what do I need here? Put those back in too while I'm at it. We are looking for the alloy smelter. And I don't have enough on me to make it because I need, what do I need? Steel rods. First, let's get some fuel going here. It's too quiet. Uh, conveyor system hasn't actually been holding up, so that's good. Uh, it's been collecting everything off the plants there, off the ground, I should say. And yeah, it's, they haven't been backing up, so it's been pretty good. Which is good because that's a perpetual fuel source. Now, the only thing I have to watch out for is I haven't gotten these ones hooked up to a chest yet, so they'll continue producing. So we still got we got fuel. We're we're good. We're good. Okay, so now I want steel rods. That's what I wanted. All the way back over here, get sucked into the turbines while we're at it. Oh, that's right. Uh, right click doesn't work. And I found out if you just... Uh, where did they go? Well, that's a bug. I meant to drag a stack out, but apparently I dragged the entire stack out and lost it. It's up top. Okay. That makes sense. Okay. Didn't mean to do that. Uh, that's the wrong shelf. This is called learning the hard way with BC. All right, but yeah. Anyway, if you just click it, click the stack over, it'll drag just one stack over, and that's all you have to really do. All right, and I was doing this for what reason? To make the alloy smelter, and it wasn't even that I needed. It was copper. Wait, what? What am I missing? Oh, plates. Steel plates. I know what I'm doing, I swear. Alright, that just uses a heat source, so we need a furnace for that. I sh should be able to make a furnace. Uh, actually, you know what? Let's make a fluid furnace. How much is a steel one? Four plates. Hmm. I need more steel. Oh yeah, we don't have any steel. Steel going through because we have no creosote or uh, coal coke, I should say. I'm not sure we're gonna be making that, so it doesn't matter. What I will do though, we'll find a macerator not being used and make some iron dust. Do I have one? No, I don't. I guess we'll have to make one. Uh, macer macerator, please. I really gotta get my jetpack off the selected hotbar. That is so annoying. Okay. And macerator. Okay. Uh, actually, all this spare iron I have is gonna come in handy now. So I'm gonna just go ahead and stick that in there. That'll grind that up. And we're gonna use that with the cold coke dust in this thing. 
And go from there. So, what was I doing? I was doing a fluid furnace. That's going to be steel. Yeah. Right. Run over here and... Oh, yeah. Uh, or... <laughs> We're going to do it on a stone one for now. Just a temporary thing. I don't even have any stone. Uh, do I have a furnace kicking around? Somewhere. I must have a furnace. Oh, right here. Okay. Alloy smelt. Oh. That's big. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I placed that too quick here. Where, where does the heat go in? Yeah, this is an interesting one. What's going on here? Okay, it is working. It is working. Okay. Let's go grab this and that. Run it into here. Go grab the iron that I'm grinding up here. And let's make some easy steel. That and iron. Definitely an interesting model. I do like it. Alright, chapter complete. We got some free steel. Right there, 10 ingots. Okay, we're going to take that. Now, this is something I didn't know. Apparently, you can add modules to these, things, the, these higher tier ones. So, right about here is where you're progressing to the point beyond where I've ever been in the game. So, that's cool. We're actually going to keep that going too. And uh, now, that's uh, something I was thinking about, because we're making this, and we're, we can run it through the, the coke oven, we can use this coke dust to make cheap steel, that the amount of creosote we're getting, if we get four of these, should be enough to actually generate some power. And, uh, you know, have it over, going into a fluid furnace that is powering a heavy-duty boiler. And we should be able to use that to generate enough turbines to generate a nice amount of power to keep everything running. So we do that, we do that. Now we'll run back over here. We'll take that and go back over here. And let's see here. Coke dust and where's the iron dust? There. And we take these cast iron and we go all the way over to the alloy smelter. Okay, I was going to say I'm out of power, but I'm not. Not, I'm not. Uh, arc furnace. That's the word I'm looking for, yes. So, cast iron. Get the steel. That's cool. And I figured out that if you were just right click on it, you can actually see uh, the amount of usage on that particular line. So. That's really draining the power. All right, now what's next order of business here? So we, I was looking at the, like, let's have a look at this automatic camera. I haven't used a steel one yet, so this is gonna be fairly new to me. Uh, I got a lot of rods, got no plates. Oh yeah, uh, I have steel on me. Let's do this and, hmm. Wish there was a way to turn this off. Okay. Actually, because uh, I want to get more plates and rods, whatever. It'll back up there for now. So I want. Where's my steel? Get that in here and get some steel plates. So I don't have any. But anyways, uh, yeah, the automatic camera, as you can see. Uh, so, one and a half times output. Uh, uh, somewhat lost in translation here, but we'll find out once we actually make it. I do need, how many more plates? I need five plates for that, wow. 
Let's go check over here. Make sure everything's running good here. Like I said, I do have to empty these out or else they back up. Like so. Do, 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 do. And I'm going to just quickly do this. Have a quick nap. And see how we're doing for fuel. Check the furnaces. Yeah, micromanagement. Uh-oh. We're going to run out of that pretty quick. And do that. Oh. Ooh, another 14 steel. Just like that. Uh, also, I have found uranium. There is actually uranium down basically at the bottom of that hole right over there. I fell down there and I decided I'd go exploring. I found uranium. I found gold. No idea what we need it for. Uh, I looked at the uranium that I don't think there's actually uses for it yet. But we'll find out down the line. Look at that. Uh, just a sec. Okay. And so two more ingots. Run over here. I'll be using my jet pack, but I swear I have a feeling it's gonna send me to the moon one day. That's that's it, just like that. Could be a little faster, but you know, again, that's that's like steel level. Wait till we get to titanium. Uh, what's actually what I'm looking for is this machine. Get to hammer those for me. Go over here. We got four of them. Now we can make the automatic hammer. Now this one should actually be faster. Now, before I actually take this out, I want to make sure it's actually the same size. Okay. That was the wrong machine. That's what I wanted. Okay. Just like that. Uh, doesn't actually say anything, it's just supposed to be faster. We'll see how fast it is. I need an arm, yes. Throw some steel back in there. It's 20 seconds for a plate. What was it on here? I have no idea because this thing stopped working now for some reason. Oh, could it be fuel? Could it be fuel? Of course it's fuel. Well, we definitely got that worked out. Okay, so that's going. And another 11 iron, a cast iron. Run back over here. Now. This thing doesn't seem to have any conveyor inputs and outputs that I've seen. I think it's just because it's just a basic thing. But that is that. Uh, we'll plant these. And just so we can get there faster. <laughs> and let's see here. Uh, we'll put them on this side here. Three and four. Sorry, itchy nose. Okay, that is going good. Doing really good. All right, now now we get those plates. We're out of power. <laughs> yes. Uh, there are electric furnaces we can do too, and I'm, wa I'm wondering if there's a way to actually kickstart this. Yeah, electric furnace. Converts heat into electricity. Use that, you get one electricity for 0.9 heat. And I'm kind of curious how that, how that is going to work. But for the meantime, we'll just burn more carbon. Why not? It'd be nice if there was a more efficient way. I uh, definitely want to get the electrolyzer going because I've got I've got a lot of that ash. And that's actually like really good fuel. In fact, that's actually what we're going to do. I'm going to top these up. And there's that other stack. Organize my inventory. So as you can see, I've got all this ash. So we're going to go ahead and make the electrolyzer. Which is... No, that's not it. There it is. Oh, that's a coal block. 
Uh, how do we make the coal block? Oh, we gotta make the metal press for that, I do believe. Coal block. Yes, a metal press. Or a steel press, which we'll need for... I, we actually have a steel press. What am I talking about here? Do 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 do. Alright, you gotta come out. Thank you. Thank you, and you. And... Put, that's not enough. That's not enough. Uh, <laughs> okay. I just need to make one, so we'll just boil that fuel for a second. Alright. And back to work. Okay, now I can make the metal press. Hold on, why did I build that thing again? Oh, the electrolyzer, yeah. So I need three plates and two wires. Should have three plates. What do you know? Okay, electrolyzer. And this thing we can probably put right here. Just because we got power. Nope. Do that. Do -do -do. And it's actually pretty small. Let's put it over here. Just because I can access it easier with the ash. Uh, so I got it on top. What I can do... Oh, put that side. Make some more wire. I got ten of those. Now what this will do is it'll actually turn the ash, this ash here, not that ash, that's glass dust, but that ash here, into carbon dust, which actually has a much higher burn time. So I might as well get this going because I'm in desperate need of fuel, or power. Fuel, actually, that's the right one. So we just do like that, that, and sure. We'll have to work out a power grid later. Okay, so it's got power. Take a whole bunch of ash. Uh, do I have any of those buffer chests on me? Do I? Yeah, I do, actually. And what we'll do is, since I've got it porting right into that, that uh, chest there, we'll do that and that. Then we can actually just start loading this up. And that's going to make us fuel. Basically recycling the unburnt f ash that didn't, or unburnt fuel that didn't get burned. Uh, of course, I don't have any power to be generating this right now, so uh, I'll have to... Oh yeah, we do have power going through. Do we? Yes. Ultimate fuel efficiency. Okay, I'm gonna go back over here and now I got a whole bunch. Well, I've had a whole bunch to begin with. That's actually glass dust, but that's besides the point. So there we go, carbon dust. Now this carbon dust actually has a much higher fuel burn time. If we have a look at it, it's similar to the coal dust. But if we go here, so it gets you 15 heat in 20 seconds. If we go back to the furnace, just here. So you can even burn lithium dust. But coal dust gets 10 heat in 20 seconds. Carbon dust gets 15 heat in 20 seconds. So it's actually much more efficient, but you get almost no ash out of it. But you still get a little bit, so even then you can run that through the electrolyzer again, get more carbon, and you're good to go. Why is it so quiet in here? quieter than it should be. That worries me. Oh, the iron production is held up. Uh, this is still technically going, is it not? Oh, we're having steam problems. Go figure. That beast over there. So we might have to upgrade the boilers, I think. Or the beast stoves, possibly. 
They're not generating enough heat. How much are the stone furnaces? Or steel furnace? Four plates again. Oh, steel galore. And there's nothing in there because it's all over in here. Ah ha ha. I totally forgot about that. Okay. We'll run over here. That, that, that. Let me make some plates, I'll be back. Alright, well, everything's going good. I gosh, got more than enough steel on me, and I got a whole bunch of that carbon dust. I'm just paying attention to these turbines, and you're definitely having a steam issue. So, I think the best thing we should do right now is upgrade our boilers. Uh, probably the boilers and the furnaces. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually get these being fed off the, the carbon dust coming out of there because of the amount of burn time we get out of them. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to pick these up because, uh, yeah, I'm going to pick these up because I actually need these, the stone furnaces to make the, the steel ones. Okay. Uh, I'm going to grab all four of them and do them all in one, one shot here. And this just saves me having to go dig up a whole bunch of stone. And I got to position them properly. I want to have proper inputs and outputs if I can. So, we need, we need four steel furnaces, and then I can make two steel boilers, I need, I need, I think I need four more plates, the casing is three plates, and there's three, and two, because I disconnected that, they're just piling up in there. So I can make four boilers. And then we'll go over here. Should have the furnace ready to go. All right, I do want have a position in such a way that I can feed them. And also have the waste coming out or the, the ash. I think I'll probably just do this way, like that, over here, and then on this side. Uh, let's see here if I can actually see it. Oh, I did, but oh, well, I jumped. Okay, so then yeah, and then we'll have the output in the back. So then that way, everything that comes out the back can come out through here. Uh, not gonna worry about that at the moment, but now it's the boilers. The boilers. Yeah, one there, one there. You go on the other side. There and there. Everything should be all connected. Good. So now I should have one, two, three. Uh, hmm. Let me, let me get some of these. This garbage away. Let's stick it in here. Like desert sound, fireflies, swamp sound, flies. That's what happened here. In case you're wondering. Okay, so that's four stacks. Now this is going to produce a lot of heat for a long time. Carbon. I thought I took more than that. Carbon. Oh, it's up there. I didn't see it. Okay, carbon is there. And we hop on over to the other side here. And like I said, this will be automatically fed in there, so I don't have to do this. And it's producing us more steam faster, which means everything should start rocketing pretty quick here. My main priority is keeping those generators running. Alright. Look at that. We are having a we are having a steam issue. Now, can I actually make more of those? Uh probably will soon. Uh, I'm actually gonna go ahead and make some more steel plates and see what I can come up with. I think it was sixteen steel plates for each one of those. Which is uh, not exactly cheap. 
Nope, uh, that's the wrong machine. Anyway, uh, I will be back. Actually, you know what we're going to do? We're going to make a steel macerator. Just because. That's going to take forever. Just because it is faster. You have not gone through. Oh yeah, because I was still doing that. Uh, I don't have any more plates. That's the problem. Uh, I don't think anything's been coming out of there because I haven't put any creosote, any coke in there. Uh, coal coke, but yeah. Okay, we're ready to move on. I think what we're going to do is we're actually going to get those fluids furnaces up and running to keep the boilers going because I've been having trouble with that. Alright, so let's get those in there. Those will dry in a few, in a few seconds. Uh, that's going through. Good. Uh, I should have enough plates now to make the fluid furnaces and the, coke, uh, the new coke ovens. So I got 15 in there and then I'm going to have another 13 in there. Lots of steel. I got uh, about a little over half a stack in the arc furnace right now. It is going good. Uh, the new boilers have definitely been holding up. I got everything pretty much running right now. I think the only thing that's not running is the iron because those are not producing but even the copper line here is still sort of running with the exception of this. So yeah, let's go ahead and make some fluid furnaces. I need uh, one, two, three, three, four. I'm not gonna worry about the copper, uh, the iron pipes, but I will. Will, however, run over here, grab a stack of steel copper plates, and I will make a stack of copper pipes. Fact, I'm gonna make a whole bunch of them just because. All right, so that's going through, that's going through. Uh, let us go over here. I'm gonna take that pump out for now uh, because of the fact that I'm gonna be processing the, the, the coal dust from the farm directly through here. We're gonna be getting creosote, anyways, and we're gonna be getting it faster than we'll actually be using it. So we are good. Now, oh, yeah, that's on my hot bar. Alright, so now we just gotta wait for two more of these to get done and go from there. And now, fortunately, this thing will actually produce this uh, coke dust as fast as I can use it. Uh, with the exception, I do have to actually replace some of those uh, plants. Now, this side here isn't producing as much as this side because, it, of course, it's missing the plants. But that's fine. And then this stuff is just gonna get piped right into the coke, furnace, coke ovens here. As you can see, I've got auto feeding, so we're gonna throw that in there for now. There's my pipes, good, and the bricks should be ready. Oh, there's some of them. We we'll need two more, and then we can make the coke ovens. We're gonna go ahead and make the two steel ones, and just one more brick. About ten seconds, eight, six, and. There we go. So now we can go ahead and make two of these. So now I gotta figure out how to get this all piped in. So I wanna have them back to back because they're gonna be setting up here. Maybe. Let's see here. Okay, so fluid is there. Put one here and one here. And now, no, 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 we we pipe them up. So there. Uh, oh yeah, we should go up with these just because we have got bears going underneath them, like a so. No, what would be nice is if he'd be actually able to capture the heat coming off of this. Because if you put the coke, coke dust in there, you'll notice that it actually it glows. It generates heat. Uh, believe it or not, I've gone through all that carbon already. Uh, it's, it's a shame. But anyways, we're going to get this going because it's going to be steel. Eventually, it's also going to be our main power source. Hopefully. Also oh, nice and quiet over here. Alright, so that is that, that is that, those are producing, 
So now we just gotta get the fuel fluid furnaces in. And we are gonna put these down in here because those are pretty much empty again. Now, uh, I do have a steam line there. I don't think I actually connected to anything. Let's go have a look. Take a peek. I know we're running long on this episode. They always run long for me. Okay, we, we can actually take that out, like so. Now, I'm wondering where the inputs on these furnaces are. Let's actually take this one out. And let's see what these look like. Okay, so he's going to be obviously on the top. Oh. Helps if I use the right furnace. Oh, that's neat. A little burner. Okay, that'll actually work. Put one there. Put one on this side. That. Then I'm going to have to take the floor out. And take these two out. Okay, good. Always gotta get into the habit of making sure that I have inventory space before I start taking things out. Okay, now I just gotta lower the ground a little so I can actually get out and connect everything up. So that is gonna be this line here. Now I do have to make sure, as I said, that nothing connects. So that's gonna be input for a creosote line, which is somewhere. There's a there's an opening. Yeah, yeah, I can get out. Okay, now we go over here. Oop. Not that hard. I might as well just see where can I put this. Where should we go in? We're going over there, maybe to save on pipes. We'll just do that. Do like that. Uh, go grab that pipe. Get out of the way. Like so. We already have some, so we should be able to get get this thing jump started, no problem. And that's not what I'm doing here. Hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, there we go. Now where is that opening? Uh, right here. Hey, good thing I made a lot of pipe. Okay, good, that is the coke oven. And just like so we Lay some pipes. Let me make sure we get it connected up to here. And that's actually connected. Or it's kind of redundant. Oh, that's the wrong spot. After doing this so many times in so many different games, you think I'd be able to get this right. There we go is connected. Now the question is, are they actually getting any fuel? They are. Oh, look at that. 0.9 in there and 0.9 in there. Cool. Now we just gotta generate a little bit more creosote, I think. Up we go. All right. As long as these things are producing, and uh, that's all that matters. And I think, yeah, they're already, they're already empty. We might have to get a couple more of these going, just because. Like barely keeping up now. That's funny. These things could be faster. But I did make some more bricks. Maybe I can make two more. No. Hmm. We're going to need another alternate fuel source, I think. Because that's not going to keep up. Well, I think maybe this would be a good time to call the episode here. We do have a lot of steel going through. Um, I admit we're using a lot of power, a lot of steam right now, so that's why it's not as good as it could be. So, but either way, we got we got steel, easy way. Just gotta work a little harder for it. Oh, jeez, get off that jetpack! Ha ha ha! And nothing's gone through there. That's because there's been nothing to hammer. 
I think this is a good place to call the episode. I thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, leave me a like. And as always, I'll see you in the next one. Later.